Hey YouTube, this is Trains and Destinations, and today here I am with yet another laptop unboxing, but this guy, this is pretty special. Now I'm not going to say how much I paid for this, although um, it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap either. So, what is this? Well, anyway, this is the box, or is it? Nope, this is actually the outer box for the actual box, and as you can see, Here's what I got. I got a Acer Swift 7. Now this is the first, now mind you, this isn't the current Swift 7, that's really expensive. What I got here is the original Acer Swift 7 that came out in 2017, I'd like to say. Oops, there we go. Yeah, 2017 this laptop came out. And when it came out, this thing was very unique. For one reason, and it's because at the time, this was the world's thinnest laptop. This was thinner than the 12-inch MacBook, thinner than the 2016 HP Spectre of, of the time. So this truly was the thinnest laptop you can buy. And I'm not sure. This could still be the thinnest laptop ever made, but um, I'm not sure. What I do know is that this came out in 2017, this model. Um, and around 2017, and it retailed starting at $11.99. Um, so this thing was not cheap. This was definitely a very premium laptop. And you bought this specifically because you want something that was thin, light, and portable. Um, because for $1,200, there are definitely laptops that have better specs than this, that could do a lot more than this can. But you bought this, people who bought this, bought this thing specifically because they want something that was thin, light, portable, etc., etc., etc. And for me personally, as a college student, um, I do need, I do prefer, or like to have a laptop that's nice and thin that I could just throw in my book bag and just easily whip out in class without taking up too much space. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and um, let's look at the specs first. Um, so let's see if I can do this properly. So there we go. So you might not be able to read it, so I'll tell you. This has, uh, of course, Windows 10. This has a Core i7 7Y75. And so essentially it's an ultra-low voltage Core i7 processor. It runs at only 1.3 gigahertz. Um, this is a fanless design, so there's no fan. Um, and so even though it's a Core i7 laptop, it really won't have Core i7 power in it. It has a 13.3 inch um, 1080p display, IPS, Intel HD 615 graphics, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a whopping 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, along with AC Wi Fi, um, Office 365, all, all that stuff. But yeah, that is incredible. This thing does have a 512 gigabyte SSD, which is amazing. It really is amazing. 512 gigabytes. Even today, in 2019, you have to pay a lot of money to get that much storage in a laptop. Now, mind you, this is a SATA-based SSD, so it's more or less a basic one, but still, 512 gigabytes of solid-state storage is really nice to have. And like I said, I did not pay anywhere near the original starting price of $1,200 for this. I paid way less than that. I won't say how much I paid, but it's elite. I paid, let's say, less than half. I'll just say that much. Um, so anyway, I'm going to change the batteries of my camera, and then we'll continue with the unboxing. All right, guys, so let's go ahead with the unboxing. Okay. And when you open up the box, in very much a premium laptop fashion, you are greeted with the laptop itself. So move this off here to the side. Now in the box, you do get these two adapters and the reason why is because this laptop only has two ports on it like a MacBook. It only has two USB Type-C ports. But Acer does give you these adapters. So this here is a USB-C to HDMI adapter. And then this is a USB-C to um, normal size USB adapter. So it's nice that the Acer throws that in there. And even though this apparently is a used laptop, um, these have never been opened. And then, and here you have your paperwork. So we got our setup guide. And then, 
we got another guide. And then over on these side flaps, we have our power, we have our charger, or right there on the right side. On the, nothing in that little flap. And then over here, we have our power adapter. And this does charge, I believe this is USB-C. Um, because that's, like I said, this laptop only has two USB Type-C ports. Oh yeah, USB Type-C charger. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Oh man, look at this. Look how thin this thing is. Look at that. And then um, for comparison, I do own an Acer Swift 1. So let me go grab it. Just to compare. I mean, now the Acer Swift 1... This is a pretty thin laptop to begin with, as you can see. Nice and sleek and really a very good value. You can find these online used for like under $200. It's a really good value. I'd highly recommend an Acer Swift one. If you want something basic, but at the same time it is something that's basic, can do basic stuff, but has a premium look to it. So anyway, let's see if we can... Um, oh, I think it slides out. Nope. Let's see if we can peel this off. Oh. Oh, that feels wonderful. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at this, baby. Now, mind you, this is a used laptop, so it is, does look a little dirty, but... Oh, my gosh. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look how thin this is. Like, this is, like, about the thickness of a pencil. So I'll bring up the Acer Swift 1, which like I said, is a pretty thin laptop to begin with. And yeah, there's no contest. You can clearly see even the thin Acer Swift 1 is at least double the thickness. That is incredible. But yeah, the I.O. in this guy is very simple. On the left, you have nothing. On the bottom, you have your information. And you do have two downward firing speakers and these four tiny uh, rubber feet. Yeah, on the top, you have nothing. Um, the, hinge are, the hinges are right here on the corners. This part doesn't move. And there you have your power and battery charge lights. And on the right-hand side, you have your only I.O. You have a headphone jack and two USB-C ports. That's it. So let's open up the laptop. And you got your little cover. And oh, man, look at this thing. <laughs> look how thin this is. Look. This is how thin it is. Like, I can't demonstrate enough... This is seriously a thin laptop. It's not the lightest laptop, but um, it's all made out of aluminum. Trackpad does click. As you can see, this thing has a massive trackpad. Um, this kind of reminds me of the 12-inch MacBook. You have a huge trackpad, um, surprisingly a full-size keyboard, and this awesome-looking display. So again, it's a 13.3-inch 1080p display. I mean, man, this thing just looks gorgeous. This really looks gorgeous. So you have this gold finish at the bottom with the black. So it's like a two-tone golden black. Alright, so I'm just going to continue this on my phone because my cam recorder ran out of space. But anyway, uh, this is the keyboard. And the surprising thing is that for such a thin laptop, again, I'll show you. This is how thin it is. Look, how, look at the thinness. Look how thin that is. Like, this is my finger. This is my pointer finger, and you can see um, the thickness of the laptop is equivalent to only about half my fingernail. So, I mean, that's how thin it is. And then, um, for another comparison, I have my belt here. And, yeah, as you can see, this thing is not much thicker. This thing really is not much thicker than my belt, pretty much. It's only a little bit thicker than my belt, so that says a lot. Now, the keyboard surprisingly feels very familiar. It's clicky. Um, it feels nice. There's good spacing. And the trackpad feels normal. It clicks. The only problem is that this does not have a backlit keyboard. So, yeah. For a $1,000 plus laptop, I think this is somewhat unacceptable to not have a backlit keyboard. But again, it's not the end of the world. And apparently, they couldn't put one in here because they simply did not have the space. Because it's so thin, they simply did not have room to put in a backlight, but then again, Apple was able to do it with the Air, so, I mean, not the Air, the 12-inch MacBook, so, I mean, eh, Acer, you know, failed me a little there, but, um, 
yeah, it does give your features up here. Ultra slim, 9.98 um, millimeters, has a fingerprint sensor, up to nine hours of battery life. That's another consequence of this laptop. It does not have insane battery life. It says up to nine hours, and in tests, battery life has ranged anywhere from four hours to that nine hour claim. And that's simply because, on one hand, this does have a, again, a very low voltage Core i7 processor, so it just sips the power. But it, because this is so thin, this has a small battery to begin with. So battery life is going to not be great. Um, so that is something you do have to deal with. That is a downside of being an ultra-thin laptop. So no backlit keyboard, small battery, um, etc. Um, but other than that, ultra-fast wireless. And then again, it advertises USB-C as well as the Gorilla Glass. So this actually has 5th-gen um, Gorilla Glass. This is Gorilla Glass 5 on it. So this laptop has the same glass you would see on any modern smartphone. So anyway, let's uh, boot it up. Wow, that was quick. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. I mean, no, this is not an insane. This isn't some 4K display, but really for a laptop at this size, you don't need a 4K panel. 4K panels are just not necessary. Um, wow, that's really... The camera doesn't do it justice. This looks really bright, really clear, really accurate. Wow, this looks, wow, this panel looks awesome. This looks really good. Like, this looks amazing. I mean, look at the details. Look at that. This looks incredible. This laptop looks incredible. Holy crap. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so as you can see, this has your standard build of Windows on it with not a lot of bloatware. Um, let's check the control panel. So pre-installed programs on here, we have, um, okay, we have a lot of bloatware, but it's just drivers and stuff. It's not, it's not insane, I would say. It's not insane. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out that storage. So 55 gigs used, 421 free. So there's probably some updates on here, so. It'll have more free storage eventually. And go to our uh, task manager. Um, you can see that at peak, we're only using up 27% of the RAM, which is pretty normal. And you can see our processor here, um, right here. It's a weird little processor. Again, this thing only runs at 1.3 gigahertz. So it's a very interesting processor. It is a dual core. So again, you... You wouldn't be using this for heavy work. Essentially, this is a, I mean, really, this essentially is just a fancy notebook. So this is something you're going to use for school, watching videos, so on and so forth. You're not going to use this for heavy work. Uh, but, I mean, I see a case for this. Um, for a college student like myself, a laptop like this makes a lot of sense. Watching movies on this looks would probably look awesome. I mean, man, this thing just looks amazing. I mean, just look at it. This thing is incredible. And again... Look at the thinness. Look how thin it is. This thing is thicker than the power cable for it. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, um, thanks for watching my video on the unboxing of the Acer Swift 7. You see the hinge is pretty good. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see. Maybe I'll have more videos on this in the future. But anyway, thanks for watching.